When we look at a BFR band that's intended to occlude as a part of the setup process, Saga Fitness makes a great example of this. I want to show you how the vascular system responds during the setup process and then eventually how we get to a safe place with training. So with the Saga band, we want to make sure to slide it up to the arm and put it in the appropriate location with the right amount of tension. So we want to be above the bicep muscle and below the deltoid. And then we want to secure the band down to a place where it's firmly on my arm, it's not sliding up or down, but yet I can still get a couple fingers underneath the edge. Then what we'll do is I'm going to show you how it works through the app as well as using a pulse oximeter to show you how the vasculature responds with this type of system. I have the Saga Fitness Band on my right arm and we're going to use this as an example of how to set up a device that's intended to occlude as a part of the setup process when utilizing blood flow restriction training. This helps us determine what's called the limb occlusion pressure, which is the place that I lose my pulse. Now, to execute safe BFR training with a device like this, we want to train at a percentage below the limb occlusion pressure to ensure that we still have blood moving in and out of the limb. As you can see on the screen here, we've got a few readings I want to pay attention to on the Mosimo pulse ox. We've got the pulse rate, which is right around 80 at this point, and the other number I want you to pay attention to is the perfusion index, which is the strength of the pulse into my digit. Right now it's hanging out between three and a half to four, now it's slightly above four. What we'll do is as we go into our Saga Fitness app, we're going to calibrate the cuff. As the cuff calibrates, you're going to hear it fill up with air. It's going to continue to fill up to a point until we lose our pulse. And I want you to pay attention in the Mosimo app what's happening to the perfusion index as more and more pressure is building into the cuff. The higher the perfusion index, the stronger the pulse into my digit. The lower the perfusion index, the weaker the pulse. So now you can see we're into the mid twos with our perfusion index as more pressure is put into the band. I'm going to keep my arm nice and relaxed. Okay, so we get to a place where then the cuff deflates, we lose a pulse, as you can see it flashes off the screen, and then everything starts to come back again. So we lost our pulse periodically to determine our limb occlusion pressure. The perfusion index has reestablished to right around three to four again. And I'm gonna go back into the Saga Fitness app to explain a couple things. You can see the calibrated pressure was at 172 millimeters of mercury. That was how much pressure we needed to have into the cuff for us to lose the pulse as was indicated on the pulse ox. Now, if we want to execute safe BFR training, the Saga Fitness app recommends we train at 50% of our threshold or our limb occlusion pressure. So that's 86 millimeters of mercury. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm the pressure settings. So as you can see here, we're at 86 millimeters of mercury, which is 50% of the limb occlusion pressure. As I go to begin our training session, you're gonna hear the cuff inflate. And as we go back to our Mosimo app, you are going to see that perfusion index drops. We were at around three to three and a half, and now it's dropped down into the twos so where the speed of blood flow into my limb has been reduced, my pulse is a little bit weaker into my digit, but as you can see, I'm still maintaining a pulse. My pulse is still in the mid 80s, so I haven't lost my pulse. The perfusion index is less. This is a good, good example of how we use the occlusive based device to set up our limb occlusion pressure to train at a specific percentage of that but yet I can still ensure that I have blood flow moving in and out of my limb and I'm still maintaining a pulse rate as I'm beginning to exercise.